Hyrule from the Collins Creatures. This is a gray tree frog that I caught. The scientific name of the gray tree frog is Dryophytes versicolor, and one of the many alternate names for this species of frog is the tetraploid gray tree frog, because instead of having two sets of chromosomes, they have four sets of chromosomes, and having four sets of chromosomes is very rare in animals. Now I have two gray tree frogs, the adult and a juvenile, and gray tree frogs are from the woodlands of the northeastern and midwestern United States down to Texas, and they also go into southern Canada. They mostly live in woodlands as they are highly arboreal, and their calls can often be heard in rural residential areas, and gray tree frogs tend to prefer to lay their eggs in ponds that don't have any fish, though they will also lay their eggs in swamps and vernal pools. Gray tree frogs are a small species of tree frog that's around two inches in full length. As I said earlier, the large one is an adult and the small one is a juvenile. They can change their color to aid in camouflage, ranging from gray to green to brown. This color change is slow, but is noticeable. They also have dark bands that cover their skin to help them blend into bark and lichen. On the underside of their legs, there are bright yellow patches that are only really seen when the rear legs are, are extended. These frogs are often confused for a similar species of frog called the Cope's gray tree frog. While they look almost identical, their calls are different enough to distinguish them apart. Cope's tree frogs are also diploid, meaning they only have two sets of chromosomes rather than being tetraploid. If the two species try to hybridize, the difference in chromosome count results in a triploid animal, which causes early mortality of the larva. Great tree frogs are nocturnal, making their calls at night, and they are also, as their name suggests, arboreal, as they literally have tree in their names. The call of the great tree frog sounds like a high-pitched bleeding, which to me kind of sounds like a raccoon. They also only make this sound during the breeding season from April to early August, so they have since stopped. The volume of hundreds of gray tree frogs calling at the same time can be deafening and make it hard for you to sleep if you're camping. In the wild, gray tree frogs eat insect larvae, mites, harvestmen, which are also known as daddy longlegs, spiders, snails, insects, and occasionally smaller frogs, including other tree frogs. So it's not very hard to see him while he's on this white post. That is how I find them when they are around my house. But now let's go back into a wooded area to see how he looks on a tree. So now we're in the woods by this tree and the little one is already on the tree and I'm gonna put the big one on and look how just much more they can camouflage in with the bark. And also the big one is darker than the little one which helps them camouflage into different trees. So that is the gray tree frog. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about the gray tree frog which is one of the most common frogs in North America and I hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you on Collins Creatures.